In this video, I will show you how to highlight the face with a smooth brighten and glow effect in Filmora 14. Like this. So, let's get started. First, drag and drop your video onto the timeline and trim any extra parts. As you can see, the original video doesn't have any bright or glowing areas on the face. Let's create that effect. Start by duplicating the video on the timeline. Disable the clip on the bottom track and double-click the one on top. Go to the color panel. Scroll down to the basic section and activate LUT. Open the LUT preset box and scroll through the options. I'll choose the Slog 709 style LUT. You can adjust the strength using the slider to match your video. Now go to the Effects tab and search for Glow. You'll see a few results, but drag and drop the glow effect onto the top video. Double-click the clip again. Go to the effects panel, and adjust the glow settings. I'll keep the opacity around 50% and set the radius to zero. You can already see how nicely this glow is working on the video, but here comes the main trick. Applying it only to the face instead of the entire video. Go to the video panel, open the mask section, and select the circle mask. Position and resize the mask over the face area, and rotate it slightly if needed. Zoom in on the preview for more accuracy. Scroll down and adjust the blur strength to soften the edges. Next, add a transform keyframe to animate the mask so it follows the face throughout the video. It's very simple. Any changes you make like position, size or rotation, will be recorded in the current keyframe, and new adjustments will be saved in the following keyframes. This way, the mask smoothly tracks the face across the video. Once the animation is done, enable the video on the bottom track again. Now you can see that only the face area has been smoothly highlighted with a bright glow effect. And that's how you can easily highlight the face with a smooth brighten and glow effect in Filmora 14. It's a quick trick, but it makes a big difference in your videos. Stay tuned for more tutorials.